Hi, this is Nate Miller from Proving Ground. In this exercise, I'm going to walk you through how you can use Dynamo to extract information out of Revit and export it to Excel. As the basis of this exercise, I'm going to use the advanced sample model that ships with Revit. I'm mostly interested in the room elements in this model, so if you have a model that has rooms, you can use that and apply the same techniques that I'm going to be showing you. Under the Add-ins tab, we're going to want to find Dynamo and launch Dynamo within Revit. It's important to launch Dynamo from within Revit so it gives us access to the Revit API and allows us to access Revit documents. I'm going to start a new Dynamo project and in order for us to access information from the Revit model you need to be sure to have the Lunchbox package installed. Under the search tab I'm going to search for Room Element Collector. The room element collector will allow us to pull in and reference the room elements contained within the open document. In order to activate this component, we need to establish a Boolean toggle and set it to true. The toggle allows us to switch this node on and off. So I can search for the Boolean node, and then I want to make sure that this Boolean node is connected into the room element collector. For this component to activate, we need to set the boolean to true. This node will then reach into the Revit document and reference room elements. You can see that by expanding the node, we can have access to the individual room elements as, lot, as well as different properties about that room. In the background, if I switch to 3D mode and zoom out, you'll notice that the the node is also pulling in some basic geometry about the rooms. So I get the placement points, I can also uh, see the outlines of each of those rooms, and it provides a nice 3D uh, geometric reference for the data that's being pulled in. But in this case I'm mostly just interested in the data that's coming in about these rooms, so I need to be able to format this information so I can use it with Excel. The node that we're going to use to export to Excel can be found by typing in Excel in the search bar and we're going to be using the Write to File node. The Write to File node has inputs for the file path, a sheet name, the start row and column, and data. There's also a toggle to tell Dynamo to overwrite existing data that might be on a specific worksheet. So the first thing we're going to do is establish the file path. I'm going to search for file path, and then I'm going to browse to a location on my hard drive. When I get to my location, I can just enter in a name, and I'm going to call this sample room export dot xls x. xls refers, of course, to the Excel file extension. I'm then going to supply this in for the file path input. For the sheet name, I'm going to create a new sheet name for rooms. So I'm going to find a new string node and type in the word rooms. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a new worksheet within the workbook for rooms. For start row and start column, this is going to refer to what part of our worksheet do we want our table to sit. If I supply in 0, 0 for start row and start column, the um, data from Revit is going to populate itself starting at cell A1, since 0, 0 is going to refer to the first cell in the Excel workbook. So I'm going to find a number node and supply in zero for start row and start column. After we have some of this basic information assigned, we can then go through the process of formatting information coming out of the room element collector for use in Excel. So the exercise I want to go through involves combining some of this information about rooms into a single data set that can be exported to Excel. So I'm going to want to get information about the room name, the room number, the area, and maybe some information about the element ID and unique ID. 
In order for me to combine all of this information into a single data set, I can use the node for list.create. The list.create node allows us to merge in different data into a single list. So by expanding and adding in indices to this list.create, I can add um, different lists together to create a single list. So I'm going to pass in the name into index 0, the number into index 1, the area into index 2, and then I'm going to pass information about the element ID and the unique ID. And when I expand this, you can see that we're getting a combined list of data, the first list being the name, the number, the area, element ID, and unique ID for these rooms. Now, when I want to write this into Excel, one of the key things we need to keep in mind is that the data needs to be structured by row. Currently, this list to create node is structuring it by column. So I need to be able to transpose this information uh, to where I have it organized by row in, in, uh, for use in Excel. So I'm going to find the transpose node and pass my list into the list input. And if I expand this, you can see that we've now structured the data to be organized by row, where in each row will represent a single room record uh, that includes the name, the number, uh, the area, and information about its ID. The other thing that's that should be considered when exporting the information into Excel is creating a header. So when I open up the Excel file, it clearly identifies what column uh, represents what type of information. So I can create some headers by adding a record into this, uh, this transposed list. I'm just going to use a series of strings. So I'm going to create a string and I'm going to call the, this first string the name. I'm going to copy and paste it and create one called number. I'm going to create another one for area, and one more for element ID, and unique ID. Just do a little rearranging here to clean up my space. And I can then merge these items together using a similar list create node. So we need five indices. And then we're going to merge in the name, the number, the area, element ID, and unique ID. We can then add this list to the front of this list transpose. There's a node to do that called add item to front. This allows us to take this list as an item and add it to this list. And you can see now we've we've merged these two data sets together, wherein we now have the name, number, area, element ID, and unique ID tags assigned as the first record in my overall list. So for us to write this data, we can then pass this the result of the add item to front into the data input of the Excel write to file. And what this is going to do is it's going to fire up Excel, and it's then going to write all of the records that we've specified to the Excel worksheet. You'll notice that it has automatically created the Excel workbook file. It's created the worksheet with the name rooms, and it's populated our table based on how we formatted it before we passed it into the Excel node. So now that we have this data sitting outside of Revit, we can do all sorts of interesting things from a data management perspective within Excel to format the data, visualize the data, and use the data for other purposes. So in conclusion, we now have a workflow for reaching into the Revit model pulling out some information about a key Revit element, in this case a room, formatting that information and preparing it for export to Excel.